Yo, what's going on, y'all? Hope y'all doing good out there. I got a dope tutorial plan for y'all today. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do flares. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we have to do before we do the flares, stretch and like the video, okay? Those two things, get your stretching on. I never tell y'all to stretch, but I'm gonna start telling y'all to stretch because a lot of y'all are older and you probably should stretch. I don't, but you should. And if this is your first time to the channel, you're new here, you're just kind of checking things out, subscribe to the channel, I come out with new videos i'm not gonna say every week because some weeks get a little hectic and you know i can't i can't make a video every week i can't promise you that but um i'm just gonna say i come out with videos every now and again so if you're subscribed to the channel you will be able to see the videos also i do a group skate class every saturday all right so if you're in tampa bay all right and you want to hang out you want to join a little skate club you can join mine i do one every saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's really dope. Um, the skaters in it are like getting really dope actually. I'm, I'm teaching them. I started off teaching them, you know, just like little two steps, little stuff like this. So they were, they were beginners. And then I like slowly start to upgrade them. So it's been really dope. I do that every Saturday. Check that out, diamondskates.com. I also do one-on-one -on -one skate lessons, private skate lessons. So if you need like really detailed help with your skating, if you're like, yo, why am I, doing this when i'm supposed to be doing this like if you got those type of questions you need like real help i do teach private lessons they ain't cheap i'm not cheap all right so if you want me you got to pay for it all the information is on diamondskates.com also if you like need help choreographing a routine you know if you have some music you kind of want help with you put in, putting together a routine i also do that as well so yeah let's work so these little flare things. I should have taught a tutorial on these a long time ago because this is like, you need these to be able to do the grapevine. And it's a really dope transition to like go in and out of your footwork. I love using it. I use it so much because it looks like you're floating, right? So today we're gonna work on that. And if we have some time, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a more advanced way, which is basically just moving around with it, okay? So first, Again, stretch. Stretch your legs. Whenever I show people this, they always want to try to do it like me. And I get it. But you're not ready to do it like me yet. You have to do it like you. Okay? Now, doing it like you, we have to go super, super, super slow. Okay? Now, we're going to start off on our toes. All right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll just a little bit and our skates are gonna come out in a V, like this, okay? So watch. Right here, you're gonna roll and allow your skates, let's run over a crack. Allow your skates to come out in a V. Damn, what the hell's going on? I think my bearings are shot. Yeah, my bearings are shot. So like some of them don't really wanna roll, so I'm gonna have to force this. So if you see me kinda like doing doing that it is what it is okay so again roll your skates and then come out to like a little v like this okay now where my weight is my weight on my my thighs are tight all right because if not it's going to continue to roll right so you don't want to do that you don't want to go out too wide just yet just go out a little bit about right there okay and stop now, the way you stop is you're gonna push in with your thighs. Thighs and squeeze your butt tucks. All right, so try it again. So you're gonna roll forward and stop. Again, squeeze in, okay? Now from there, try squeezing again a little harder and you should be to pull your skates back in. Okay, so shoot, like that. Okay, that's what we're gonna work on first. 
So roll out, let your skates roll out to a V, stop. And another thing I'm doing too, is I'm pressing down on my toes. So I'm not like pressing to where they go all the way up, but I'm pressing like on the ground. Like act like your, your skates are like claws, or your toes are claws and you're like trying to grab the floor. And then when you pull them back in, squeeze in. Boom, okay? We're gonna keep working on that until you feel comfortable. So, roll out, stop, press down on your toes, squeeze them in, pull in. It's all thighs, all butt muscles. Out, in, out. out slide in okay work on this get comfortable doing this motion right here um, now your legs might not be strong enough yet which over time you'll kind of build them I know some of y'all aren't used to like if you are a beginner you're not used to using these type of muscles which is okay they'll build up over time if you need to you can hold on to like a wall or something, hold on to like something in front of you just to like hold your balance. So if you need to roll and hold on to something, right? And then you can also use it to push yourself back if you don't have enough um, leg strength to pull yourself. But that's what you wanna work on right here. Out, in, out, in, all right? All thighs, all that. That's the front part. Now we have to do the back part. Okay, so with the flare, your, your feet are basically going out like this, then they're coming in and doing the reverse. So it's like swing, swing, swing. So they're gonna come out and then back. And out, and then back. All right, so that's what you want. Now the back part, the back part is it's kind of awkward because we're leaving all of our all of our wheels on the ground i'll show you how to do it like on your toes later but for right now we're just gonna leave them on the ground so as you come back so we're going to be doing the opposite so right now they're in a v when you pull you're going to pull them together like this now they're going to go in a backwards v so your heels are going to be out and your toes are going to be pointing in so like this Boom, like that, okay? Now this position is awkward, but you're not gonna be staying here alone, okay? So this right here, now you're gonna squeeze, well, pull your legs in, pull them in, and that's gonna roll you forward. Boom, now stop, pull them in, that's gonna roll you backwards. Boom, okay? And you're gonna be in this kind of like little awkward like, you ever used to do that when you were a kid? Well, you would like turn your skates, not your skates, but your, your feet in and try to walk like that. I don't know why we did that. It's just stupid kid stuff, but let me do it from the back just so you can kind of get a better view. So, we just rolled forward like this. Skates are out, right? Now, we're gonna pull them in. All right, now let them roll. Now from here, Turn your, turn your heels out, like this, okay? And that's actually gonna stop you from rolling. So for instance, let's say if I'm like rolling backwards, right? I, I can stop myself by doing that, all right? So actually, you know what, work on that, work on that first. So from here, we're gonna do a bubble. Basically a bubble is just when you push you're gonna push like um, against the ground like that just to get a roll. So push, try to stop yourself like that. Okay, so push, you're gonna push, boom. Okay, and remember your thighs are turned inward like this okay so you're going backwards boom 
all right it's gonna feel it's gonna feel awkward because we're doing it slow right now but i'm only showing you slow so that we can break it down and go over go over the movement right all right so now let's try rolling forward and then going backwards so boom pull them in back pull them in it's gonna roll you forward stop back boom all right let's see if you can do it a little faster so from here boom 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 I'm not gonna lie I can feel it it's all all in here so if you are not used to this type of movement you're gonna you're gonna need some practice but which is cool just take your time like if you can't do the the rubber band thing if you can't do that yet it's all good work on getting each section right I would rather you be able to do this super clean than like you coming out and like stumbling and trying to go back and then doing one of these things that's not what we're trying to do here right so go through both of those and make sure that you can do them smooth and seamless okay again roll out bangs get stuck and shit all right so out not too much pull them in back boom Boom. See how my states are going out. In, out. In, out. In, out. Boom, 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 boom. All this. All that. It's going to be tight. It's going to be sore in the morning, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, so that's like the beginner way to do the flares. Now we're going to do heel flares and toe flares so hill flares are when we're going to go to the front toe flares are when, when we do go to the back okay it's going to look like this so when you go to the front you're going to go out on your heels like that and then pull back before we do that let's just work on sitting here and balancing right so you need to do manuals you need to be able to like chill here in a manual comfortably I do have a manual tutorial. I don't remember exactly what me and Hunter went in. I know I did it with Hunter, but we were high. So I don't remember exactly what, or if that was even a good tutorial. But yeah, if you wanna go back and check that one out, I will leave the link in the description so you can check that one out. But so you're gonna to wanna to be able to do hill manuals, be able to just kind of chill here like this comfortably and also motherfuckers always racing around here and you also gonna want to be able to do toe mangles so like just chilling on your toes like this I'm not sure if you can see let me turn sideways so just being able to like balance on your toes okay you don't have to stay up there all day Let's work on the front, okay? So we're gonna roll just a little bit, boom, and then drop them. Simple, watch. Out, heels, drop. Again, heels, drop. Heels, drop. If you notice, I'm not doing this, right? I'm not doing all that. Let's go out. Heels, drop, okay? Get used to just doing that. Heels, boom. Now, try pulling them back. All right, now it's gonna be the same motion as when we did this. You're going to pull your legs in. All right, now don't run them into each other. Don't, don't, don't do that shit, all right? That's not what I said. Pull them in enough and then glide them back. So like this. Go out a little bit, right? 
pull them in, glide them back. Now, if you notice my toes, as I'm pulling them in, I'm turning my toes in so that the heels don't run into each other. Watch, let me show you. So, out, pull them in, boom. Do that. Out, pull them in, boom. Again, boom, boom. Boom, boom, okay? And also, you can hold on to something while you're doing this. If you need help balancing and just chilling there, just getting your balance, hold on to something in front, right? And then pull away. Super light. Boom, boom. Oh, I just noticed that I'm doing something. So I'm leaning forward whenever I go into my heels. I'm going boom. I'm making sure that my shoulders are over my skates. If not, it's going to be that. Can you, I'm not even sure if you could tell what I just did. So this is the right way to do it, right? So lean forward, pull myself back. This is not the right way to do it. I guess you could do it that way. It just doesn't look as controlled. But, which, but you want your shoulders to come above your skates, okay? So work on that. Out, back. Out, back. Get comfortable doing that. Now we have to do the back side, which is going to be on the toes, okay? Now the opposite. Now instead of going doing doing this, now we're going to be going and doing this. So you see I'm on my toes, on my, on my two front wheels, right? So let's work on that. Roll back slow, toes. Just do that. Roll back slow, heels are out, right? Heels are out, toes, boom. Again, heels out, toes. Heels out, toes, pull them in. Try that. Heels out, toes, pull in. Boom, pull them in. Pull them in. Turn around. So, you're gonna come back, you're gonna roll back, right? Heels are out, pointed out. Toes, pull them in. Try that. Boom, pull. Boom. Front, back. Front, back. Okay? All right, so for you intermediate skaters, that's going to be your exercise, right? Now, don't go super fast. Just do it like how I was doing it. So go forward, heels, squeeze them in. Now, point your heels, toes, squeeze in. Heels, boom. Damn, bearing. It, I don't know if it's the bearing or if I'm like running over something that's like catching me. Look, look how small my wheels are. Like they're, they're indoor wheels, but I skate on them outside cause, cause fuck it, right? Um, anyways, again, heels, remember lean over, toes, bring them in. Heels, toes, okay? Bring them in. Heels, toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes. And also, when you get better at it, you don't have to drop down in the middle. You can just go heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. But that comes with time. Again, practice, practice, practice. Now we're going to move on to the advanced version, which is basically moving around. It's a form of the grapevine. It's kind of like what you use to do the grapevine. So, let me see. Yeah, so we're gonna go out straight, heels. When we come back, that's when we're gonna change direction, okay? So, I'm gonna show you the beginner way, just so you can kind of maybe understand it better. So, we're gonna come out, boom. And then we face the, let me face. So, 
come out regular. Now when we go back, we're going to turn to the left. Okay, so watch. See that? Let's try it again. Forward, regular. Now to change directions, your shoulder is going to come back like this. You're going to rotate your hips. Okay? So you're out. Once you bring it back, turn. It's, it's a little awkward because I'm doing it slow, but I'm trying to break it down for y'all. So, boom. Skirt. Right? Now you go forward, pull them in. Boom. Same thing. Left shoulder. Boom. Pull them in. Stop. Pull them back. Boom. 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 Damn, this, this is really hard doing it slow. Yeah, this is really, this is really hard doing it slow. I ain't gonna lie. Um, again, you can go to... I'm going to the left and turn to the left. You can do it where you go to the right, too. So, out, right. Turn to the right. Boom. Out. Right. Boom. 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 You get the idea. Now, that's actually hard to like do with your wheel on the ground. It's a lot easier if you do the wheels because they roll easier. But it's the same concept. So, go out to the front. Heels. Boom, right? Now, drop down. Turn toes. Now facing this way, right? Bring them in. Scoop. Heels. Drop them down. Turn. In. Heels. Down. Boom. You don't necessarily have to do it that way. You can really, if, if you're good enough, you can kind of move wherever you want with it. I'm just kind of giving, I'm just trying to give y'all like a structure to go by, but you don't have to do the box thing. You can literally just go, boom, turn, boom, turn. When you get good, when, when you get better at it, you can like, because this move right here, um, boom, that's a transition in itself. So you can kind of like move in whatever direction. So let's say if you're, you go out, boom, now you're facing back, right? And then like, yeah, so you could be like, boom, boom, back the other way, boom, 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 boom. But you have to get good at just holding this position, okay? Both of these positions, you're gonna get, get super comfortable at holding those if you wanna be able to like change directions like that. But I think that looks the best when you're just kinda of like gliding, gliding around wherever you want. Like I use it so much in my flow and it looks like you're just like seamless. But work on that. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some shit but that's going to do it for this tutorial because I'm running out of juice on my SD card and I'm not exactly sure what the other one is. I need to find it. But that's it, y'all. Get to practicing. This move ain't easy. I ain't going to lie. All the thighs. Your thighs going to be burning. You're going to be feeling it. But it's going to be worth it. Again, check out my beginner skate class. Well, it's not even beginner skate class anymore. Just check out my skate class if you're in Tampa. You kind of want to join the community. DiamondSkates.com. All the information is there. I'll be seeing y'all very soon. I got a lot of time this week, so I'm going to be pushing out some tutorials um, and some other things, some information. So be on the lookout for that. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will catch y'all next time. Later.